All right, what is up? Welcome back. Uh, we got the new desk space going on here. I'm still working out a couple of the kinks. Uh, autofocus primarily doesn't really want to work, so bear with me. We're just going to make a quick video talking about this guy here, this Nikon FE2. Now, I have not spoken too much about these. I kind of, as you may know, don't really like Nikon cameras all that much. The exception being, of course, the Nikon F3, which I think is my personal favorite camera. This guy um, has the potential to being a close second, although I would say maybe the FM2, but still, FE2 is a pretty quality camera, and I need to shoot a roll through it because I've had this thing for uh, months now, and I have yet to do any kind of testing on it. I've tested the shutter speeds and whatnot, the light meter, but I've not shot a roll of film through it. And I don't feel like you can really speak too much about a camera in totality if you haven't shot a roll through it, if you haven't had that experience. Now, that being said, I have talked about many cameras that I have not really shot rolls through. Um, so maybe this is a bad video, but... <laughs> This one, uh, I do plan on shooting a roll through and then giving my full thoughts afterwards. I just found this uh, roll of Ultramax 400, 24 exposures. I'm assuming that it's a fresh roll of film. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to probably rate it at 200 just to be on the safe side. And we'll go from there. And there you have it. Brief history of this camera. It was released in 1983 and had a run time from 83 to 87, so about four years. There were a few models made. Uh, as you can tell here, it has a flash sync speed of 1 250th of a second, which is significantly faster than the FE, which I believe was at 125 um, and or M90, I'm not entirely sure. On this one, the mechanical speed for the shutter is also uh, 250th of a second, as denoted with the M250. Top shutter speed of 1 4,000th of a second, so we're going to see how accurate that is. And overall, it's a pretty similar camera to the FE. The only ma major differences are the missing battery check light on the back, and that's about it. Um, I feel like the shutter release button on this one's a little bit more pronounced, but I could be wrong. I've not seen an FE in a, that much time. Um, also, notably, the lighter weight uh, blades. So, all that to be said, uh, I am kind of excited to shoot this. I'm excited to test it out, give you my thoughts, and then go on to sell this camera, as it's not one I really intend on keeping around too often. Um, but I do want to make some content with it and then hopefully share the joy with others watching. So I've got a 28 millimeter Tokina lens, third party 2828. So we'll see how that goes. I was initially going to use the, uh, the big beast here, this 80 to 200, which I really do like this lens, but I just thought at the end of the day, it'd probably be easier for me to convince myself to shoot through this. If I just had a static prime and I've been kind of ebbing and flowing on my desire to shoot with the 28. So I thought maybe if I just kind of force myself to do it, then we'll see how the, the results turn out. Also, I feel like this would be a nice little street camera to some degree, you know, set it on auto and just kind of rip from there. But we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing with it. Um, and then we'll review the footage afterwards, the photos, talk about it, and then I'll get this camera sold. And that will be the lifespan of this FE2 on the channel. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.